doing over there dude good today we're gonna leave New Jersey and we're gonna go to New York City let's go Under the Hudson River. This is a $16 tunnel. Yeah. I guess that's our rent money for the night because we're gonna find some free parking even if it takes us an hour. <laughs> Go straight again, I guess. Yeah. No standing anytime. No parking. No parking. Fire hydrant. So, which way did we just go? Well, no luck with parking yet. No. The driving down these streets in New York City really isn't like the. I don't know. When I thought about driving through New York City, I thought about like, holy crap, that's gonna be really scary. Bumper to bumper, close like other cars. These side streets aren't that bad. No. Now the main streets, <laughs> you don't want to not know where you're going and you also do not want to like, if the light turns green and you don't go within a second, you're going to know Everybody's because right. everybody around you is going to start honking and it's absolutely not. It's like truly watch three people honk at one guy for not turning left within a second of the light turning green. All right, well, we'll go up to second half again and then we'll loop back down. <laughs> and then we'll just start doing this again. Yeah. We'll find a spot. Yeah. We were warned it might take us an hour. Yeah. I'm not sure how long we've been gone. A while. Probably 20 minutes. Yeah. Monday, Thursday, 9.30 to 10.30. No parking. But today... It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Man, Wednesday's the day to come though, because none of the parking signs say Wednesday. It's always Tuesday, Friday, or Look Monday. Look at that, an Thursday. empty spot with a fire hydrant. And yeah, the only empty spots are the ones with fire hydrants. That's okay. That's okay. We will find one. Okay, so we'll go left one second and come back down. You can go like another foot. Okay, stop. Yeah, you can back up a little. That's good. It only took about an hour and a half of driving around uh, the same six streets waiting for a spot to open. And I'm still not convinced that this is a spot. I'm going to walk around the block look the and look. <laughs> I don't see any other signs. No parking Monday or Thursday, 11 to 12.30. I think we're in the clear. Oh, oops. Watch that there. <laughs> I'm just pumped that we were able to find a parking spot for the van because it's not exactly a small vehicle and uh, I think it's a totally legit spot. So make sure it's all locked up, lights are flashing. Let's go. <laughs> I just 
just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that man? The guy that bike by. <laughs> So we accidentally just took the expressway subway instead of the stop by stop subway. So we wanted to get off at 81st Street, but uh, we're at 125th Street. So now we got to figure out how to go back down to 81st Street, but neither one of us know the New York subway. So, nor do we really know how to navigate subways in general. So, it's all fun. It's kind of funny that we thought we had nailed it the first try, but absolutely not. So, little navigator Becky's trying to figure it out. to absolutely nobody's surprise we messed that up <laughs> New York City's it's easy to get lost underground so all of a sudden we were past like 70th Street or something like and that we were in the middle of two other subways on either side so we were on the expressway which we didn't realize no not till There's after the, the local fact. and the expressway anyway local trains here. from here on out yeah <laughs> so to our right I believe this is Museum of Natural History. Which we are gonna go inside of, but we just have to wait. I don't exactly know how long. I think it's about half hour, maybe 40 minutes. We've yet to eat today, and it's one o'clock. And that's mainly because we had to drive into the city and then, you know, find a spot to park. So, we're on our way to have Something. Something. There's some some little places just on the other. We are on like one side on the Central Park side of the museum. We're just walking a block to go to the other side because there's some food. So <laughs> let's go get some food. We just went in the Museum of Natural History and uh, it was super interesting. We didn't really film much just because we were kind of just doing it for our viewing pleasure. So. But you get like pretty turned around in there after a while. The place is huge. <laughs> it's it's like a maze. They do have an app that kind of allows you to walk around and you know search things that you're looking for inside there because there's yeah. information overload. You need a whole day yeah. just for that. Yeah. So, I don't know, we were probably in there for like two and a half hours, At three least. hours. We did some of the special exhibits that they have. One's like a planetarium, one was about sharks. But yeah, towards the end, we were just trying to find bathrooms and how to get out of there. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, so we're out. So I think we're gonna go now just for a little walk in Central Park and then maybe head down towards the Rockefeller Center as that's more or less on our way home to the van. So. To the Rockefeller Center? No, to Central Park, then to the Rockefeller Center. Yes. Let's see if we can't get lost in the subway for the second time uh, in one day. So right now it's the middle of December and that's not exactly the best time to be exploring Central Park. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no snow on the ground. As you can see, like, it's, it's a fine time in terms of that. It's just that there's no flowers or leaves or, you know, many of the leaves are on the ground. There's like some evergreens and, and things like that, but I'm sure it would be absolutely beautiful in the summer. Yes. We want to go right. So right now we're just on a bit of a mission to find Belvedere Castle. Um, it's a castle basically in the middle of Central Park. And then after that, Catch the subway. We're gonna catch the subway. So, 
It's really pretty though to be able to see the like high rise buildings in the background of this park. To be honest with you, I keep forgetting that I'm actually in New York City right now. I think it's the fact that we actually have the van here and we didn't really have to train or subway that far. All right, let's go to the castle. Belvedere Castle. It's really cool that this exists in the middle of the park. I found it quite interesting earlier when we were just looking at maps of New York City, kind of trying to figure out where we wanted to be, where we wanted to go. And the fact that Central Park exists and it's this size is astonishing given the size of New York City. This is a lot of land. Take two at the New York subway. Let's see. Yeah, yeah we practically know what we're doing. <laughs> Just to put things into perspective, I don't really know if you can hear me. But right now, it's only 4.15. And this is how many people are here. On a Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Wednesday at 4.15. It's still part of the work day. And there are so many people here. The street is closed. There's cops blocking it off. This is incredible. There's more people in New York City than I can understand. <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's like daytime. <laughs> it's just, I can't get over like the sheer amount of people. And it's probably always like this. But I think like when you're not used to something like this, just seeing that many people in one space is... It's crazy. And like there's essentially like, you're just walking around looking at stuff and shopping. It's... Yeah, it's surreal. Of course we have to get M&Ms with, I think you can get your name on them. Or maybe it's your initials. Anyway, we're gonna go get some M&Ms. The personalizing M&M thing is closed anyway. So we're just gonna get M&Ms in general. But you can like pick from the wall of specialty flavors. We're gonna get the peanut butter one. I think this is the largest chocolate wall in New York City. Hmm. How was today? It was really fun. It was a long day though. Like we're both just Pretty crashed. tired. Like we walked, I don't know what it said, like 15 kilometers. And uh, went on the wrong subway. <laughs> Got lost in the museum. <laughs> but it was good, it was fun. I think we're gonna just try and kind of go to bed early. And we had a list of things we were gonna do. We did like two of them. Maybe two, yeah. Three. No, we, we made it to the Rockefeller Center today. Three. Yeah. The Museum of Natural yeah. History. Yeah. And Times Square. Times Square. And we did the Rockefeller Center. Yeah, we hit like four points. We're just gonna spend the night in the van, I think. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. So, see you then. Good morning, guys. It's pretty early. It's not that early anymore. It's like 7 a.m. in New York City. We had a great sleep last night. 
yeah, we're gonna go get some bagels at a nearby bagel place for a 10 minute walk. And then I think we're probably gonna head out of the city because that's gonna be 24 hours in New York City. We got here around 10 a.m. We're gonna leave around 10 a.m. So let's go get some food. All right, make sure it's locked. Let's go. We're going opposite ways again. <laughs> we usually just start walking one direction, but we haven't actually figured out where this thing is yet, so. Probably gonna split that. 